But the ultimate issue in Christianity is the authority of Christ. And the devil is attacking this authority by convincing us to teach morals alone. If I were the devil, if I were the devil, if I were the prince of darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness. And I'd have a third of its real estate and four-fifths of its population, but I wouldn't be happy until I had seized the ripest apple on the tree. The. So I'd set about however necessary to take over the United States. I'd subvert the churches first. I'd begin with a campaign of whispers. With the wisdom of a serpent, I would whisper to you as I whispered to Eve. Do as you please. Pope Francis shaking up the Catholic Church, supporting same-sex civil unions in... Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. To the young I would whisper that the Bible is a myth. I would convince them that man created God instead of the other way around. In this my view that the simplest explanation is, there is no God. No one created the universe, and no one directs our fate. I would confide that what's bad is good and what's good is square. I don't care that you're a Christian. I don't care what the Bible says. Like, I feel like it's a clown show, like sitting here trying to decipher what your little mythical book has to say. I don't care about your goddamn religion. I'm so tired of having nonstop conversations about what the Bible says. Well, the Bible says this in this chapter and this verse. I don't care. I don't care. I don't believe in it. America doesn't want to hear your thoughts on Jesus. Love Jesus all you want. So they just don't have to do it publicly. Give your life to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus. And the old I would teach to pray after me, our Father, which art in Washington. Thank you to uh, Satan for giving me inspiration on how to play this role. Keeping my copy of Darwin's urging his species in Fahrenheit 451. Woohoo! Praise Satan! Woohoo! Hell Satan! A lot of people come up here and they thank Jesus for this award. I want you to know that no one had less to do with this award than Jesus. <laughs> he didn't help me a bit. So all I can say is, suck it, Jesus, this award is my God now! And then I'd get organized. I'd educate authors in how to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten TV with dirtier movies and vice versa. I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves, and nations at war with themselves until each in its turn was consumed. And with promises of higher ratings, I'd have mesmerizing media fanning the flames. Satan is not against good morals. He is opposed to Jesus Christ. He wrote Jesus Christ. Oh. Me versus Jesus in the octagon. <laughs> I'm not a man alive that can beat me. But Jesus ain't alive, is he? So I don't know. I'd still go. <laughs> you know what I'm planning this Christmas? No. A mock no. execution no. No. of Jesus Christ no. called. Holy F. Holy no, it's called Holy. Okay, all right, all right. Well, that, 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 let me. I get it. Oh, wow. Sexual and gender minorities have something to teach the church about dying to self, about new life, about. If I were the devil, I would encourage schools to refine young intellects, but neglect to discipline emotions. Just let those run wild. Until before you knew it, you'd have to have drug-sniffing dogs and metal detectors at every schoolhouse door. The North Carolina substitute teacher and student are both charged with simple assault after a fight in the classroom. And this happened Monday. School officials say the incident stemmed from an argument after the teacher confiscated the student's cell phone. A high school student under arrest tonight accused of beating up a principal. Within a decade, I'd have prisons overflowing. 
I've had judges promoting pornography. First tonight, a group of parents say they are shocked about the kind of books available in high school libraries in Katy ISD. Yeah, they read passages from books tonight they consider to be pornography, but others say they need proper context. One book describes a fourth grade boy performing oral sex on an adult male. The other book has detailed illustrations of a man having sex with a boy. Soon I could evict God from the courthouse, then from the schoolhouse, and then from the houses of Congress. Moral education has gone in decay because we have removed biblical studies, Christianity, in our own teaching. Because Johnson Space Center has banned the word Jesus from an employee newsletter. It is Jesus Christ that everyone needs, and the devil knows this more than all of us. So ultimately, the problem is not a skin problem, it's a sin problem. The only way to really cure that what's on the inside is understanding that Jesus Christ died for our sins. And so, the, to me, on a micro level, it's understanding. It. Yep, it, just like that. And in his own churches, I would substitute psychology for religion and deify science. I would lure priests and pastors into misusing boys and girls and church money. See, something doesn't add up when a pastor makes a lot of money, drives a luxury car, and yet the people who live near his church are in poverty. Did I sell my soul? I sold my soul for you. Y'all coming right with me, you dummies. If I were the devil, I'd make the symbol of Easter an egg and the symbol of Christmas a bottle. If I were the devil, I'd take from those who have and give to those who wanted until I had killed the incentive of the ambitious. And what'll you bet? I couldn't get whole states to promote gambling as the way to get rich. I would caution against extremes in hard work, in patriotism, in moral conduct. I would convince the young that marriage is old-fashioned, that swinging is more fun, that what you see on TV is the way to be. And thus I could undress you in public, and I could lure you into bed with diseases for which there is no cure. In other words, if I were the devil, I'd just keep right on doing what he's doing. Now, I believe that this is a direct result of eliminating the authority of Jesus Christ from his command.